YouTube's Will from Will Development. This is my 313th weekly update. So, over the weekend, I competed at the Iron Kilt Games, which was a mix of strongman and Highland Games stuff. Uh, pretty neat. I understand why women wear skirts now because it's very comfortable in a kilt. I have to admit it. Uh, probably won't wear one around a whole lot. Anyway, but it was a really good time. I actually ended up tying for fifth uh, overall in the novice division. Um, but it was a good time. It was a really good time. The guy who I tied with, uh, they ended up splitting the novice into two two groups, and so that's part of the reason why I actually didn't place as well as I could have and probably should have. Uh, one of the events was a Denny Stone hold, and we went before the other group, and I, you know, so obviously I didn't know how long they were going to go or how, how well some of those guys were going to do. I ended up winning my group by about 20 seconds with a time of about a minute 13, and I'm going to use that footage for my TWO video for next week. Uh, all that footage that I have. So that might be a slightly longer video just because, uh, well, there's a little bit more footage there between the stone put, the caber toss. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and skip the weight over bar since I did actually zero that event. It was a 56 pound weight and I just could not, couldn't get it. Just like three attempts and I just, just couldn't get the, the angle right, couldn't get the throw right. I had the height on like one of them, but it just, just couldn't get it over that bar. Uh, there was a stone carry, which I got second in, and then the Denny Stones, uh, second in my group, I don't know what I got overall. Probably got like fourth, or fifth, I'm sure some of the other guys did better. And then on the Denny's, I got third overall. Uh, two other guys that went after me did end up beating me, which... When you see the footage, I mean, I, I put them down, but it was only just, it was just because I, I, I knew I had one in my group and I wasn't thinking like, oh yeah, there's more people that have to go. So, reality is I probably could have held it for another 20 or 30 seconds if I really, really had to. And I guess you could argue that I had to, but I didn't know that I had to. So, you know, it's, it's one of those things, you know, live and learn. Uh, like I said, it was still a really good experience. It was a lot of fun. And uh, I'll throw footage in of me winning the... Excalibur lift too for the novice. Uh, funny story behind that image. There's the, the the picture I put up on Instagram is me holding it with the right hand and and giving the guy the finger with the left because when we were doing warm ups on the Excalibur they had three plates and a ten and a five on it and I just walked up just cold and picked it up with both hands and was like cool that's not a problem. None of the other guys could even break three plates in warm-ups. So I was like, oh, well, I'll just open it three plates. And then when, you know, the you know the actual important stuff came up, guys did sort of rise to the occasion. And uh, when it was all said and done, there was myself and one other guy going. And he just said, I'm going to go for broke. And he threw a 25 on there on top of the three plates, which is more than that was in the warm-ups and more than I had ever done on that. And it was higher than I wanted to go. I was planning on just going basically three plates and two tens on top. I don't know what the actual weight is of that because I don't know the weight of the implement either. So I'm not going to try to even quote those weights. But he ended up doing that. And honestly, it, it, it pissed me off because I didn't want to go that heavy. And so when I just walked up and picked it and it was just nothing for me, I just, I said, fuck you guy. Like, you know, you, you went for broke well you lost. You know, it's this... I'm, I'm very cocky when I know I can win, uh, unless I lose, and it's like, ah, who cares, whatever, you know, <laughs> it's, it's one of those things, I don't take much very seriously, which might be a downfall, but I, I, that's just, I try not to, because I know if I take something seriously, I take it way too seriously, so in that case, with grip stuff, I, I'm very confident in my ability on grip work, uh, just honestly, it's from years, pro tip kids, not pro pro tip. You want good, strong hands, manual labor jobs, especially mechanics works with simple hand tools, it will get you a good grip just because if you've ever had to sit there and you've broken a nut or a bolt free from something and you have to sit there and spin it 
with just these two fingers because that's all that can fit up there and you can't really get a good bite on it and you're just sitting there trying to pinch it and spin it and you can't get the socket up there anymore or the wrench up there because there's just not enough room because they designed it this way because the engineers hate you that's the kind of stuff that I attribute to my good grip it's it's stuff like that that and not using straps as much as possible on anything uh, including deadlifts. I would make the argument that hook grip probably doesn't have a lot of carryover in terms of uh, grip training. I mean, I've seen plenty of arguments that say it has zero carryover, which uh, I would tend to disagree with. I mean, you still have to close your hands around your thumb. So, you know, if you open up your hands, it's not like your thumb can hold it. So, I mean, hey, worst case, in my opinion, it's, it's the worst option of all three styles of deadlifting grips to train grip. Double overhand is obviously the best for grip training, especially with an axle bar. Over under is going to be your second best. Uh, with that, it's not going to do a whole lot for your grip, but it's still going to do more than the third option, which is hook grip. But I always just pull with hook grip because I figure I, I compete in strongman, so Bicep tears are just and just part of part of the course ninety percent of the time. So it's it's one of those things where I'm like I would rather save my bicep tear for a really sick stone load rather than tear my bicep on a stupid training deadlift. Uh, and a lot of times I'm just lazy and don't feel like grabbing straps. Plus there's a little bit of that mental toughness too because hook grip can hurt. It can hurt a lot. Uh, it can suck for a while. Um, at this point, I don't really feel much when I pull hook grip. It just feels, it, it almost feels right. And it's also a really good way to sort of get down real fast and grab the bar. I don't like to stay stretched out too long while I'm bending down to pick up the bar, which tends to happen when you're using straps. And, you know, I don't really like to kneel down because then you got to get your feet in the right place. And it's, it's a whole production. It's just so much easier to be able to grip and rip. And your options there when you get heavy is over under or hook grip. And again, save the biceps, you don't really need your thumbs. I mean, come on, koalas have two of them, and, and what good is it doing them? That's all I'm saying. Anyway, check out that footage next Wednesday. This week's training was okay. It was nothing, uh, nothing too crazy noteworthy. I am slowly transitioning into my training for Tampa Bay's uh, Strongman Classic, which is happening in October, I believe the 24th of October. Uh, Part of my challenge is also losing a little bit of weight. Uh, the reality is I am carrying a little bit of extra fat than I, than I honestly need to be. Even walking around, averaging this week around 203 pounds, that's still more than I need to be weighing. So I, I've decided to uh, sort of do a little bit of dieting down. And hopefully be by the 24th, it'll be a nice easy cut, maybe a pound or two. Uh, and the reality is I'm, I'm not at a strength level that justifies weighing, you know, 210 or 220 pounds. So <clears throat> I'd like to stay above 200 because the adult human male weighing 200 pounds or more is one of my favorite quotes. And so I'd like to stay above 200, but you know, if, if it, if it seems to benefit me more to weigh less, then I'll do what I have to do. And I have to weigh in at 100, 198.4 or lower. So that's that's what I'm looking at there. But still squatting and deadlifting, even though there's no deadlift event or, or squat event, those are just really good staples in my opinion. Uh, might start doing some trap bar stuff instead of conventional just to do a different variation of it, you know, that kind of thing. Or I might do even more strongman style and do uh, farmer's picks, that kind of thing. Again, work the grip a little more. Um, but squatted, was a little beat up from Saturday, uh, more so than I thought I would be, um, you know, competing, it's, it's just like that, even when the events aren't necessarily heavy, as that competition wasn't for me, other than that stupid weight over bar. Still had some soreness, still had some post-comp nervous system damage, possibly. Uh, I'm not a big... What's the word? I think most people that think their nervous system is shot are, are, are probably over uh, overestimating how hard they're actually working. 
I would say most people are. So I'm, I'm not going to make that claim that like, oh, my nervous system was shot. Like, no, I was just, I was just a little beat up afterward. It, it happens. And I wasn't expecting to walk in and have a great training session. So I actually ended up on Monday just working up to one squat at 325, but it was, it was a good looking one. So I was happy with that. Deadlifted up, uh, did like three sets of two at two, uh, 405, which was fun. I hadn't pulled multiples of 405 for multiple sets in quite a while. And then Tuesday was incline log press bench, which is one of the events at Tampa's. And, uh, my protocol with that, and I was testing some things out, is basically clean twice, then go into my press away uh, for whatever rep scheme I'm working with. And I'm I'm closer to comp weight than I thought I would be, and the clean is really what's holding me back, and I know that. So I'm 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 definitely working on cleaning it that way, uh, cleaning better, and, and just working on that because it's a very different movement it's it's a lot harder to clean in a, in a seated position and a big part of it is almost like squatting but not sitting down yet and then just using the momentum of you sitting down to roll it where you need it and it's it's a very challenging thing to do so i'm working on that a lot more than say even just the pressing uh but i've got i've got some time and i i i'm more than more than confident in my ability to at least at least get one rep on that event, so that'll feel good. Then, Wednesday off, Thursday, squats and deadlifts again. Squatted, and I worked up to four sets of two with 330, no, I'm sorry, four sets of one at 335. Uh, did a little bit of volume work before that, um, just because I was feeling it, I was feeling pretty okay, so I was taking 275 for some fives, and that felt pretty good. And I said, all right, I want to do 335, and I want to do a bunch of singles. And I always do a lot of single work because I suck at singles. And so I want to I want to have a lot of first reps. And I wanted my upper back to stay tight, and I managed to do that on most of those. I would say, except for, like, rep three, as I recall, was like, oof, that wasn't how I wanted it. So, but it was good, and they were all ass to grass. So uh, we'll see what happens next week. Deadlifts, I, I ran out of time because I got busy bullshitting with some guys at the gym and so I ended up just pulling 405 for a single um, and then just going home and then tonight again incline press today was just the one clean and to press away with a slightly heavier weight and then I may even practice the clean movement on Saturday being tomorrow we'll see it's one of those things I'll be doing some more accessory upper back work um, since a big weakness of mine is my upper back and probably some tricep slash shoulder work, uh, maybe some incline bench kind of stuff. Usually when I do stuff on Saturdays, it's always more of a hypertrophy um, based movements and, and protocols. And, and then I want to work some events too. I uh, don't have my throw bags just yet. I got the stuff to fill them, but I don't have the bags yet, so I'm waiting on that. And then... Um, the sled drag got changed to a vehicle pull, so I guess I'll be pulling a vehicle uh, tomorrow, and I'll work on the technique of the sort of slide back, throw your whole body back, pull yourself forward, slide, do that whole thing, and I'll work on that movement uh, tomorrow as well, because I'll have more time, and there'll be more people around to give me a hand, because I need like two people to help me with that, because I need somebody to drive the vehicle, and then I need somebody to be pulling the slack of the rope as I go. So, <laughs> I'll be doing that. That's the plan. Look forward to the footage coming out Wednesday. And if you don't, then what's your excuse?